Moving to the Dallas Fort Worth rivalry here. SMU. I can't wait for this football oh, yeah. game. SMU and TCU. TCU a nine and a half point favorite. A total of 65 and a half. Look, SMU six and one against the spread. Their last seven against TCU. The TCU secondary has got some holes, brother. There, there are problems back there that have not been fixed yet. Now, could they get fixed in this game? Absolutely. But man, I'm gonna tell you, I, I was looking earlier over at CFB stats. Tanner Mordecai, the Ooh. SMU quarterback, number three in the country as far as quarterback rating. I mean, he has been unbelievable. Do I trust that TCU is the significantly more talented team? Absolutely, I do. Uh, do I think that Gary Patterson has a little bit of a coaching edge on Sonny Dykes? Yes, I, I do. But do I think that SMU can keep this game close? I mean, there's a little bit of a, a tension going on because TCU had to cancel this game last year due to COVID issues, and SMU thinks they were running scared. So SMU really wants this game. I I think they can keep it within this number, man. I mean, it's it's down from what it was. I think it opened at 11. It's down to 9.5. I, I still think SMU can keep this within about a touchdown. My my line on it was six. I'm going to take SMU. All right. So I love Sonny Dykes. I love both of these coaches, by the way. And, and I think this is, I'm excited for this game. But SMU just – they just took all they could from Louisiana State. It took every ounce of gumption they had to not get upset by a very mediocre football team. All right? That means – SMU, you talked about the holes in the defense of TCU. TCU might hang 50 on them, okay? It's true. It's true. I just I just trust Gary Patterson. All they need to do, I need Gary Patterson to make two stops. That's it. I need him to make two stops because I don't think SMU will make any. All right? And if Gary Patterson can come up with a way to find two stops in this football game, he's going to cover this line. He's going to beat them by 10 at least, if not by 14. Okay. Yeah, that's how the math is going to work out because SMU will not stop them. TCU won't punch. I, I bet the over-under in punch in this game. What do you think it might be? Three? If I gave you five over-under punch, go under? Yeah, I'd probably go under. <laughs> what if I gave you three? Would you go over or you go under? Are you, uh, you three. Well, where, where, that's, a, that's a tough number. Three and a half. Three, three and a half. Man, I still might go under if it's three and a half. I don't know that we're going to see a lot of football punch, man. <laughs> Kickers just ain't going to be out there a lot. No, you ain't wrong. You ain't wrong about that. When I saw La Tech drop 37 on this team, I thought, man, Sonny Dyke's going to have he, he's gonna have his problems with TCU rolling down. So here, here's my thought process on that. I told you on last week's show that weird things happen in Ruston, right? I, you, I you, Yes, you did say that. You so, did say that. So I don't know that I fully believe – that SMU is a bad football team just because of what happened when they were on the road in Louisiana. They're a bad football team, but I do think they're a bad defense. Has Sonny Dykes ever had a good defense in your life? Have you seen that? No, but he's got Jim Levitt as his defensive coordinator now, and he, they might not be set up just yet. But, you know. I, well, they ain't going to get set up this weekend, I don't think. I, I think you're probably right about that. <laughs> I think but Zach I'm, Evans I'm is going to feel the I thought it was bigger than I thought it should have been. I yeah. was expecting this line to come out more than a touchdown, less than a field goal, which is, I guess, where it is now. But I was thinking seven and a half is what I was thinking the number was going to be. And so you're, you're even still, at nine and a half, I, I like it. All right, even at nine and a half, you're rolling TCU. I'm rolling SMU. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.